everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm taking a look at the Electroman version 3. Solid Gold Effects is taking this pedal in a whole new direction with multi-head octave echo. The Electroman 3 explores new sonic territory with multiple tape style heads and rhythmic sub-octave delay sounds in its smallest package yet. Now with tap tempo and an extended delay time up to one full second, you get the choice of one, two, or three delay heads by pressing the momentary toggle switch to the left. Switching to the right engages the sub-octave voice that is added to the delay signal, instantly thickening the repeats and adding surreal voices to single head or multi-tap repeats. In addition to the Electroman's classic warp feature, which blazes straight into self-oscillation, the right foot switch doubles as a glitch generator, simulating a rogue tape machine that is ramping up or down. You can manipulate both foot switches together to create ambient textures or chaotic ebb and flow. The color and flutter knobs are both center detented and double sided, giving you low and high pass shaping of the delay signal, as well as depth control over two lush modulation modes. And like all solid gold effects, the EM3 multi-head octave echo is handmade in Montreal, Canada, and offers unique tones and features that are designed to inspire. Let's start by checking out the different head configurations by simply hitting the momentary switch to the left. As you can hear, introducing more tape heads gets you a different rhythmic feel, but it's still very much in time with the time that you've tapped in. Now let's try the three heads again and change the color and the modulation as well. And of course we have modulation and anything left of center is going to have a different speed than right of center with that flutter control. And however far you adjust it is the amount of depth. So let's start with the left side of the flutter and see how it affects the waviness and the modulation in the delay. <laughs>
the toggle switch to the right you get the octave in the delay signal and the cool thing about this is that the filter control or the color is not affecting the lower octave so you could have a really bright delay and then just have that you know fat sub octave in the mix it's a really wide and you know huge sound for one guitar <laughs> So you've heard the warp function quite a bit. Let's check out the glitch mode and see how it really interacts with a lot of oscillations. So the great thing about this smaller enclosure is that you could actually smash both foot switches and they really work well together. As you can tell from the glitch mode, I have it set up to sort of ramp down. And if you want to change the direction, just hold the right foot switch and adjust the toggle by pressing left or right. So now it's going to ramp up. As you can hear, the glitch does a lot. If you just want to hold it for a moment, it just kind of dips down or you know ramps up. But if you hold it for a long period, especially with a lot of oscillation, you get some really interesting sort of rubber band effects.
it doesn't all have to be atmospheric pads. Let's just use a few repeats and a little sub octave with a single delay head to fatten up a fuzzy riff. <laughs> There you go, definitely a new Electroman experience with the EM3 from Solid Gold Effects. You can find out all about this new multi-head octave echo at solidgoldeffects.com. Thanks for watching.